your boy man offense kill man and i'm back with another pro tip for you guys today man today we're going to be going over a gap pressure edge pressure the best block shot defense in the game hands down the best base defense you can run in the game that all the pro players are running bro i know i got offense in my name bro but i play a little bit of defense you feel me what we're going to be going over today man is the big nickel over g bro i know people tell me bro they hit me up they say the formation trash it doesn't really work for me man the sheds come in too slow man and like I said, bro, that's because, bro, these YouTubers, bro, they don't know what they're doing, bro. They, you see none of these YouTubers in any type of tournament. They don't make no money off the game except for the content that they put out, man. First tip for the Big Nick OVG, bro, off back. These plays in Big Nick OVG, the sheds are not created equally, bro. You come out and cover four palms, bro, the sheds are going to be different than cover six trap, bro. It's going to be quicker or slower. That being said, the best shed defense is out of this cover two Big Nick OVG, bro. And all my pro players know... You got to come out in the play flip because the shed's coming better, the blick's coming better, you feel me? You come out in it, flip. Let's just come out in uh, verts. And my guy, the only thing you want to do is slant outside, bro. Don't base line, don't shift left or right. Don't hover the line. You don't have to hover the line or anything like that. It's going to mess up the sheds. The sheds aren't going to come in. Everybody's going to be open, you feel me? All you want to do is just... Pick who to use it, bro. You feel me? You want to use the corner? You want to use the safety? Whoever you want to use it, my guy. That's all you have to do. Slant outside, pick who to use it. You just run it just like this. Shed. Y'all saw the shed come in? Just like this, bro. Pick who to use it. Slant outside. That's it. Simple adjustment. You ain't, ain't got to bring people down. Blicks a bunch of people just playing outside. Your reason I already know. Shit. Every single time, bro. Your opponent is going to be thinking you're an aggressive. They're going to no huddle, come out, quick height, fake height. You feel me? Every single time. Best base defense you can run. Bro. Let's just run it one more time. Trying to make this video as simple as possible. Y'all saw Babosa screaming off of the edge. And the reason this is the best defense is because these corners right here on these flats, they actually play like flats, but they don't let the corner... If Merida was around the corner, they don't just let the corner just stroll right behind them, you feel me? They actually play the corners and they play the deep post, bro. And if you haven't played this game, nobody likes to throw the check down, bro, unless you're playing a professional player, bro. Everybody want to throw the deep routes, you feel me? That being said, because these corners drop so far back, bro, any drag route is going to be butt naked open. It's going to go for 15 yards. So anything that crosses your face, you have to take. If this guy runs a drag, you have to take your drag. You can't bait him. Can't bait here and run back, you feel me? Because if he throws it to that guy, then he's going to be open. You know? I mean, you can still bait him. You know? He tries. He don't want to take the check down. But, but yeah, and then this, uh, this it's bomb friendly. You feel me? You can run it against bombs. Bombs won't know what to do, you feel me? But you can run it against pro players. That's that's why I love this formation. But pro players, they're going to be frustrated. But like, how are you getting instant heat like that, you feel me? But, uh, yeah, you got somebody using a lineman. You can even run it against them. They're using a lineman and run it full back dive. You can run his defense against them, too. I'll just run it one more time. I think I moved the lineman, so they probably messed it up. But y'all seen it. Let's just run it one more time. No adjustment, no movement. Don't move nobody. Don't shift nobody. Don't nothing. Shit. Every single time, bro. Every single time. All right, but let's say uh, this is the this is the non bomb friendly the non bomb uh, friendly part of the scheme. If if you like, I said, where you playing somebody using D line, you don't need to do this. But let's just say the sheds aren't coming in. You feel me? They find a way to block the sheds. They run and play action or something. They find a way to block it. All you want to do is the scheme is based off this guy right here. And this guy right here, you feel me? They're going to be so scared of the sheds. So you have to remember that. You you get pressure with just these four guys, you feel me? And they, they're at weird angles, so you can get them, you can get all four of them for real, honestly. But if you, so basically, you blick some extra people, just speeds it up. They're going to get there a little bit faster in the block shed, you feel me? So what you want to do in this scheme, let's just say, you, obviously, they got to be a passer. If they're a passer, this is what you want to do every play. So you want to bring this guy to the line of scrimmage like this. Put him in a two-point stance and bring this guy to the line of scrimmage. And that's the whole scheme. You play pro players, bro. They see these guys at the line of scrimmage. They're going to slide right. You feel me? They're going to slide left. You feel me? And when they do that, 
I said they slide right and you blitz this guy. This guy, all three of these guys might come free. You feel me? All three of them might come free. Let's just say uh, they slide left and he, this guy got the sack last play. They slide left and you blitz this guy. This guy's going to come free. You feel me? And then, of course, when it's, you know, sacking at 20, third and 20, this is what you want to run right here. But, yeah, let's just go through him. Let's just say um, you want to blitz the guy off the right. But, you know, you leave him in his zone. You know, you're only as good as to adjust the zone, the adjustments you make behind the blitz. But let's just say you run like this. If you want to blitz that guy, you want to stand over here. And if you blitz, if you want to blitz the left of screen guy, you want to stand over here. You want to blitz the right of screen guy, well, you want to stand right here. So we're blitzing the left of screen guy right now. Stand right here. Your breeze throwing the ball the way like a professional. You feel me? He's scared. But yeah, just slant outside, mix him, snap on the ball. You should bring both of these guys right down here. Hover over here. And you know, nobody's build a check. Nobody's going to be like, oh, he's standing over here. The left guy's coming. Oh, he's standing over here. The right guy's coming. You know, but nobody's about to do that, bro. Just do it just how it is. You know, stuff. Stuff, bro. EA's not, not want to give me the animations. Do it again. And the running back does block, so. So I can cut him right there. So yeah. But you essentially you wanna place it uh away from the running back, but I'm just doing each side right now, you know what I mean? And then you know adjust his zone, you know, hop in the gym, hop in the lab. Just the zones behind it. I usually do it like this. I usually do it something like that. You feel me? Man, up both those guys have a middle zone right there. Put him in a deep half because people are gonna be so scared of the of the blitz. They're not gonna know how you get in this instant heat. They're not. They're not gonna put their running back on a route. You feel me? And if they do put their running back on a route, just adjust to it, and they won't do it anymore after you know you pick it off. Let's see if I can get the animation. You know I mean? Let's see how three people came free that time. You know, that that's the thing about the big Nick OG, bro. It's cause these guys that are at weird angles, bro. Like you don't, you honestly don't know who's gonna come free. You can essentially you can just up move and probably messed it up, but essentially you can run it just like this. You know what I mean? You just want to run it like that. See how I made the. And it comes in a little bit quicker. Jabriz keep throwing the ball so so early, bro. Right, let's run it one more time. I'm pretty sure y'all get it. Yeah, he cut that guy, but he came in free. Then the shed comes in. Easy sample. Well, now it looks the guy on the right side. This guy should come in every single time because the running back's on the left. So now you want to stand in this gap over here. And that guy just ran in free. The running back's going to go on his little route, but even if he was blocking, he will be blocking the left side of the field. As you see, he'll turn left. He's going to do it just like this. He's going to think. He's gonna be like, oh, the, either this guy's coming or this guy's coming. You feel me? If you if he if you ID the wrong person or you slide the wrong way, bro, and it, bro, all all six of these guys might come free. That's the thing about the big neck over G. That's why every time you should be different. You should be blitzing somebody different. This man Drew Brees out here just dying me up, bro. But y'all see the chest, bro. Ain't nobody. You know, CP. You already know who's gonna be open on the snap of the ball. You know. But y'all y'all see this shit, but he literally throws like 0.5 seconds where he's about to get a sack. Run it one more time. No, I had him too close that time. He still came in free though. Alright, it's gonna replay that one. Yeah, just watch the blitz, bro. Don't don't watch your breeze. Don't watch your breeze throwing the dot me up right now, you feel me? I'm making no adjustments behind his own. So he essentially comes free. Kamara's blocking. He goes out on a route, but when he's blocking, so he just turns left. He's going to block the left. And this guy's going to come in right there, you feel me? Easy, simple, sweet. Let's make the video short, you feel me? 
And then of course, if you wanna, if you wanna just send everybody, you feel me? Just go like that, stand right here. And the adjust, I'm gonna show you the adjustment I like to make when I do this. I like to literally either run it just how it is, run it like that, or I like to run it like that, you feel me? Either one of those, bro. Yeah, you know, that's your third and 20, your third and 40. Free with a block around the back, you feel me? Easy, simple. Simple scheme, bro. This is what all the pro players do, but they either blitz this guy, this guy, or this guy. Now, let me show you the A gap pressure, bro. All you want to do is like that. I use, I like to bring my safety down, actually, but. This is the up. Just like that, let's do something like that. I'm just gonna show you the pressure real quick. Never mind the zones behind it. See how hit this guy come? He comes streaming right up the A gap. Y'all probably think all oh, the the running block blocked him. You feel me? But the point that I'm trying to show you is, if this if if you're playing a pro, like I said, you only do this against pro players, bro. If uh if it was if he was trash, bro, all you do you just you know slant outside and adjust his own behind you feel me? But uh you playing a pro player, bro? You in a tournament, bro? You on a player lounge or something, dog? You got a good player. He's rated a five. He probably thought this guy was blixing. You feel me? You ain't blitzed the linebacker all game. He probably thought this guy was blixing. Or he thought this guy was blixing. You feel me? He slid right. He ID'd him because people like to slide one way and then ID the other, and people like to slide away from the running back. So this guy right here, not ID, he will, sh this running back would jump over here, jump right or jump left because he slid, and he would stream right at the quarterback, bro. That's the whole point I'm trying to show you. So yeah, simple, easy video, bro. The best scheme in the game, bro. That's all they're doing, bro. Y'all think, y'all like, why, how are they getting all this pressure? But all they're doing, they're just slanting outside. That's literally all they're doing, bro. Slanting outside. So then I say you don't you don't have to hover a gap, bro, at all. You just slant outside and they just use her. Yeah, man, that's the video, bro. Easy, simple.